Hey guys, I want to talk to you about the new peak surcharges that FedEx announced last week at the end of the week, uh, right before the, the weekend they announced this. Uh, I just wanted to touch on a few things that I found interesting that they've done this year. So they're going to hit home their precedence for ugly freight. They don't want it. They're going to charge you extra for it. So we can see here that with additional handling, oversize, some of these unauthorized package charges, they're going to charge you even more during the peak seasons because they don't want to have to deal with the, the commitments and the other unnecessary pieces they have to take in order to ship these packages that are heavier or are weird shape or dimension. Um, another interesting thing that they've done with this peak season is that they've actually split it into two peak seasons. One of them is like the precursor to the full-blown peak season. Um, so from September to October, they're going to be charging you extra. It's not going to be as much as the peak season, but it's going to be a mini peak season. And then they're going to go into full peak season October 2nd, or I'm sorry, October 3rd to January 15th with their additional charges. So you can see the additional handling surcharge is getting a, a three and a half dollar increase for September and then a six and a half dollar increase for peak season. Oversize $39.50 versus $68.75 during the real peak season and so on and so forth. Uh, we're seeing that they are putting a peak surcharge on ground economy packages as well. They have a couple of different date ranges for that you want to look out for. But the thing that I found the most interesting is this residential delivery charge. So last year they did this too, where it was dependent on how many packages you send every week would dictate how much of an increase you got for the following week. Um, so right now they've put it, they've actually lowered the threshold. So it will affect more people. Uh, now it's going to be, if you ship more than 20,000 packages to a residence uh, or a residential location via FedEx ground economy, FedEx express shipments or any FedEx ground service, you're going to get hit with an additional residential delivery charge. So how they calculate that is they find out what your average volume was from June 6th to July 3rd of this year, and then they're going to figure out, okay, from that, how many packages they sent out, how many are we going to be, what are we going to be charging them in peak season? If you're a seasonal shipper and your volumes in June and July are low, but your volumes in December, November are really high, this is going to heavily affect you because you're not going to get the dollar twenty-five increase. You're going to get a six dollar increase if you're four hundred percent higher than what you were in June. So what we really wanted to to hit home with is these customers who are seasonal, who have a heavy peak season uh, with their shipments. You really want to watch out for these peak season surcharges because if you're shipping more than 20,000 packages, which many people hit, you're going to be significantly impacted by these peak season surcharges because FedEx and we assume UPS will come up with something similar, are really trying to help their networks not be overloaded. They're going to rely heavily on the regional carriers to help offload some of these, these packages from them. Uh, so they're going to start penalizing people who are using too much of the system, who are using heavy packages, who are using a large volume of packages, they're going to be hit with a heavier charge. So you could be charged anywhere from $1.25 up to $6 extra per package because of peak season um, for ground and $2.25 up to $7 for express. So just keep an eye on that. We're going to be coming out with some analyses for our clients to make sure that they understand what impact we anticipate they should be getting from the peak season. But if you have any questions, reach out to us at Sifted. We'll help you out.